Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Hills here with you today. Remember to hit subscribe and turn post notifications on because I reply to any and all comments within the first hour of this video being released and all other videos. So be sure to do that right now and be sure to hit like because this one's going to be a very unique video that not a lot of people like to talk about, but I really like to follow this rule and this is how I've been able to make two six-figure businesses off of just one Facebook ad each. So when people are teaching Facebook ads, they're, they really complex it. Again, you guys who follow me for a while, you know I like it simple. Like simplicity is where it's at all about just keeping it real, keeping it simple, and just scaling up that way. So I didn't even realize that this was a unique tactic until like recently. I thought like a lot of people were doing this, but I, it doesn't really seem like it. But a lot of people like to do is they make a bunch of complex ads and then send out multiple ads and they're not using like existing posts for one. And they're just doing all this. That's why you see like ads pop up on your feed with like 23 likes and like two comments from like big people. That doesn't really work to me. I think social proof is one of the most important things you can have in any ads. What I strongly encourage you guys to do is focus on just the one Facebook ad method. So at the start, say you have like four or five different versions of your copy for your ad and four or five different pictures. So you just wanna like you know, first test the pictures or test the videos against maybe five ads, that's $5 each on PPE. And after three to five days, you're gonna find, oh, one of these works way better than the other. Choose that one. And then maybe you wanna test like the copy. You wanna test like four or five different versions of the copy with that picture or video that worked the best. So then the same thing, you're gonna run it like $5 a day at each one and then finally you're gonna find your best ad copy and your best content and then that is what you're gonna post to your Facebook page specifically. I wouldn't recommend launching ads without the existing post and I'll explain why in a second. When you use an existing post, which means you go onto your Facebook page and you take that content that you tested and you take that copy you tested, and you make a physical post on that page, that is what I strongly recommend you do for a multiple reasons. So one reason would be how you're keeping all your likes and your comments under one roof. They're not getting spread out under all these weird like ads that are popping up on people's feeds and they're like questionable what it is because it doesn't have too many likes. And then also when you do the non-existing post method, you can't go and invite every single person who interacts with your ads. So the beautiful thing about the one Facebook ad approach is like, for example, I have three ads. One did six million, six and a half million views. The other did like a 1.5 million. And then the other ones right now is approaching 2 million. And along with that, I'm getting tens of thousands of likes and you can actually go in and invite every single person who liked that content to your page. So that means you're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of targeted niche specific people to like your page and boom now you have this large organic reach from your actual page because you're able to go in and like all this furthermore the reason i really encourage the one facebook ad method i've noticed an extremely large jump in all of my ads once it breaks a thousand likes and I would not use the super fake method of targeting India and all this just to get your likes up. People see right through that and also it really is bad for your pixel. Yeah, you can turn off your pixel and do that if you want, but personally, I like to keep it real even in my targeting. That's how extensive I take the keep it real method. Just because I know then I can go in and invite every single one of these people and every single one of these people is going to be someone who actually is interested in my content, actually interested in the niche of whatever product I'm trying to sell, which in turn is going to grow a large organic reach. And again, furthermore, the more social proof you have on an ad, the more likely someone's going to buy. I mean, that's even for me personally. If I saw an ad and had 30 likes, I'm not gonna be that inclined to check it out or definitely not buy. However, if I saw an ad like mine that has like 14,000 comments on it and like 32,000 likes, that just the social proof alone, get this, just the social proof alone is gonna make me stop and check out that ad. And that is huge right there, just the social proof alone. I don't really understand why people wanna spread out all their ad sets and like do all this when you can literally Use the one existing post, do not use the non-existing post method. Use the one existing post and have tons of ad sets, which is just audience, for you guys who don't know, it's just a bunch of audiences that you can test within this one ad and then target it to that one ad so that even if these are failing, you're still getting those likes, you're still getting those comments, you're still getting those pixel maturation for that specific ad set. And then once you find that one Facebook ad, you can scale to the moon. Again, guys, I've built two six-figure businesses from one Facebook ad each and one product each. That's how powerful this can be. For you guys who actually go on and try this, and a lot of you guys definitely are, I would definitely recommend no other way. 
you're gonna notice a huge jump in sales once you hit the 1,000 mark because instead of it saying like, you know, 650 likes, it's gonna say 1K and that is big. For some reason, just psychology for people, that is big and that makes them way more interested and way more likely to buy. And again, you can go in and like every single one of these likers and have your page actually grow organically than having these fake bots or like fake engagements from countries that will never buy from you. Just don't even worry about all that. Keep it real in all aspects of life, even in the Facebook targeting, and you're gonna see some major, major results. Yeah, I don't really see too many people like preaching this. I think this is very important. I see some people doing it, but I feel like a lot of people aren't using the existing posts. Like, again, this is the last point I'm making on the one Facebook ad on an existing post is when you make that and it starts to grow, you can pin that to the top of your profile so that anyone who even comes to your profile is gonna see an ad with like, you know, thousands of likes, thousands of comments, thousands of shares, and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. For anyone who didn't even see that ad and just stumbled upon your page, and they, that's the first thing they see, they're instantly gonna trust you. Again, social proof is one of the most important things in Facebook ads, okay? It's not the targeting, it's not the content, it's none of that. Like all that stuff is very, very important, but again, I would trust an ad with 50,000 likes and millions of views that kind of looked a little sketch, then a super professionally well done video with professional copyright with like three likes, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you guys can feel the same and I hope this helped you a little bit. I hope this changed your mind on the non-existing posts, multiple Facebook ad method. You wanna keep it real simple, hone it down to one Facebook ad on an existing post with tons and tons, and I'm talking tons of ad sets. You guys need to be testing a lot with different ad sets, different audiences, different interests, everything lookalike audiences. Guys, if you guys know me, you know that that's basically all I do. So, but they, at the beginning stage, you wanna do a lot of testing until you can get that stage. So thank you so much for watching. This is Sky Hilsey. I'm gonna be keeping this more consistent. I've been traveling like a motherfucker lately. I just went to LA and then I went to Seattle and then I went to Disney World, then I went to back to LA and I just got back from Maine yesterday and this is all within one month, one month, one week, I think. Uh, God, I'm taking all of April off so I can focus on making content for you. I got four businesses I'm launching in the next week and a half, which is gonna be crazy. Super excited to share all that with you. And I'm just ready to just, you know, calm down a little bit on the traveling. I just realized recently I achieved my dream lifestyle, so I've been taking advantage of the traveling a lot, going to a lot of places, but I do realize that there needs to be a balance between work and pleasure, and I'm just like riding right on that thin line trying to figure it out. So thank you so much for watching. Again, please hit like, please subscribe, turn post notifications on so I can answer your questions within the first hour of any video, and have a good day. Peace. Mm -hmm.